So yo, what's going on gamer folk? Your boy Maverick here back with that daily dose. You know, this is the show where I do my best to answer your guys' questions. Reach imav at gmail.com if you want to um, get your question in. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You know, series, you guys get to know me a little bit better. I get to know you guys as well with the questions of the day. And, um, you know, I always tell you guys every video, or at least lately I've been saying, make sure you use a, um, a clear subject for the... Uh, <laughs> For the daily dose, you know what I mean? Like, let me know what your email is about. Don't put daily dose. <laughs> like, all the emails I've got since I started saying that just say daily dose. This email is only for the daily dose. But I'm just saying, just, be, you know, let me know what your subject is. If it's about bullying, say bullying. If it's about girls, girls. Uh, if it's about, um, you know, if it's a spiritual question, you know, just title it. And also, if you want me to answer it with somebody, like with wifey, with your older brother, with your little brother, with your mama, um, you know, if there's a YouTuber, you know, I got a a a, 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 a relationship with, no homo, right? Um, answer with them, stuff like that. So you can't be like, ask with PewDiePie. I don't know PewDiePie. Ask with Cullen Burger. I don't I don't know Cullen Burger. Uh, so it's got to be someone that you guys know that I rock with. So, all right. Um. Yeah, I guess let's dive in it. And I am knocking this one out earlier in the day because I literally just woke up. I ain't even got the crust out my eyes. Um, I did brush my teeth, so just so y'all know, I ain't got that hot breath. But I uh. Oh, there we are. Um, let me brush my teeth. Gave my girls a kiss. Girls include wifey, and I ran in here, man. Got to knock this out. I got a lot to do. I'm trying to be so on point this week. I've been real. I've been behind, man, because we had the move, um, and then I got sick after the move. So my work, I've been down. I've been having to do videos the same day. And if you guys been following me for a while, you know I hate that. That's just it. Just doesn't fit with my schedule. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to crush it this week, man. I'm trying to get ahead on videos again. I'm trying to be consistent with all my series. So y'all should be for this channel. Y'all should expect two Madden videos and one 2K video a day. Um, on my Let's Play channel, y'all should expect four videos a day minimum. I'm trying to do five though. So I'm trying to bang it out, man. Then I, I need to get ahead on those so I can get back to the Madden Mastermind channel and start posting three times a week there. Just so much going on, man. I'm overwhelmed. All right, so we left off with Dylan. Now we got my man Will. Would you ever think of playing games like Call of Duty? I actually do play Call of Duty, and I've posted it on my Let's Play channel. I'm I'm MLG, bro. I'm MLG. Uh, PS, you are amazing at mutt. I also like the new show. The auction block series is also helpful. Another question. What does your setup look like? This is actually a really good thing. I realize that a couple people have done, um, and Will did this. So basically, he wrote the initial email, and if you realize that you wrote an email and I answered it already, and you're like, dang, if I ask another one, I'll be put in the back of the line, go reply to your original email you sent. So like if you ask, when did me and my wife meet? Reply to that email again and ask a different question if you, if you want to kind of keep your spot in line. If that makes sense, um, and then I'll see it right because it'll just be like in list order, so I can see them like Will did. Um, but if I answered your question already, don't go back and reply to it to try and skip the line because I know it'll already be past where I moved and it'll move you to the top. If that makes sense. Uh, so if you already if I already answered your question, you've seen it answered and it shows as unread or read on my end, then just ask a new question. And you'll have to wait. But yeah. Did I answer that? Yeah. Um, oh, what does my setup look like? I'll do a setup video. Not yet. Because you guys can see I'm still not moved in all the way here. I've been. That, it's been so behind. I got my setup enough to where I can work. But, I mean, I got a lot to do. I got to get some. I got to buy some new stuff, too. Because this room's a lot bigger. I want to get, like, a little swivel chair. got to get, like, a little big boss pimp rug or something. Um, a bookshelf. It's just... And then my wires are sloppy. If you got any good wire voodoo, 
like get at me on Twitter send me like a link or something I don't know like I just have so many wires back here and some people it doesn't bother most guys it doesn't bother me for some reason I hate seeing a bunch of wires everywhere so I need to figure out how to hide it or clean it up if you got tips let me know all right let's try and fly through these faster 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 man um, looks like this dude did exactly what I just suggested looks like Xavier initially asked what inspired you to start making YouTube videos then he replied to his email and said okay so I composed my first message while listening to your first weekly dose only to discover that Raul already asked what I wanted to know so there so here's my new question I'm really interested in joining the I'm mad fam I've been watching all your videos since Outlast, and I'd love to be a mod on your streams. So what does it take to become a member of the IMAV fam? I like to call it more so Maverick fam, because uh, I'm really trying to get this Maverick movement popping. It's not really named after me. It's more so named after being a Maverick. I don't like having a following named after me. Uh, and it, it'll make more sense once we kind of launch this stuff, but... Um. Yeah, that's just a side note. So don't I'm I don't have like an iMad fan, but I I see what you're saying, and it's and it is probably dumb for somebody to be like, why are you just critiquing his thing? He wants to support you, and that's dope. I love that. I'm just still weird. Like I I I've talked to you guys about. I should be drinking this water because I'm about to work out. Um. I've talked to you guys about my issues with being like famous or whatever and famous whatever a lot of people look up to you whatever I just gotta make sure people I don't know I don't know I'm not I'm not good at being I don't think I'll be good at being famous man so I don't even know it was crazy growing up I always wanted to be famous I wanted to blow up I wanted to be a big athlete a big rapper a big anything and as I've gotten older I'm just more low key, man. I don't know. I don't like, which is actually crazy considering what I do, right? That's how you know I'm really doing it for God. Like, I even had prayers like, God, I don't want to be famous, man. I don't want to be that dope. And it's like, if I got to be big, God, all right, just make me like medium big. I don't want to be super, super big because that's when you have like no privacy. People are all in your business. You can't go to the supermarket. Like, I would hate that. And. I hope I would never be let, and that's my selfish thought. At the end of the day, it's God's will be done. But I don't, I don't think I'd be good at being really famous. And people like, it even bothers me now, like when people treat me different. Like, oh my God, that are so in shock of me. Like if I retweet them, and of course it's still, it's humbling and it's, uh, it's flattering that people care that much. But in my head, I'm like, bro, I'm no, I'm nothing special. F my retweet. I'm not that dope. And so that's just what I'm saying there. Like, I'm sorry. It may be small things like that. I got to get better at accepting that. Xavier's dope. He wants to be part of the IMAV fam, right? We'll just call it Maverick fam, though. That's my point I was trying to get across. Xavier, I appreciate you. So how do you be a mod on my streams? Um, well, step one is usually to not ask. But for this series, it's great that you ask that because I can tell everyone that, right? So if you're on my streams, like don't come through and ask. Not one of my mods on my stream have asked. So how do they become mods? Really, I just notice them in the chat consistently, right? You got to be at my streams a lot. Almost never missing streams. Because if I didn't have people that never miss streams, I wouldn't have that, that stipulation ever. Because I have so many people that almost never miss any of my streams. By the way, that's something I want to get to as well. I got to get ahead of my work. So Tuesday, I have a stream planned. Uh, with OG, we're going to be a, do a GTA stream. Maybe Gary's mod as well. Um, but I want to get back in the streaming. I love that. But yeah, so I got I need someone that's going to never miss streams because I need you to be able to mod, right? And then after that, I need to see you not talking crap to people, not being confrontational, stuff like that. And then I got to see you being helpful. Like if people have questions and you know the answer to it, you're trying to help them in the stream. So it's just people I just notice automatically are handling their business. And then, you know, maybe there's a day where I'm short on mods and I'm like, dang, I need someone else. I need your name to stand out, either me or my wife, because my wife's always in the chat. And we'll be like, oh, 
let's just step this person up you know what i mean so it's almost just like being ready being prepared being helpful and the little times and then when we need you it's like we just recognize you and we can call you up to help mod so that's really what it comes down to good question xavier hope i don't think i'm weird about that famous person stuff i'd be saying i know some of y'all probably don't even get it and some people like would love to be famous i'm just it's just weird for me just because i know there's nothing special about me right like i'd be having funky morning breath in the morning just like y'all my booty itch sometimes just like y'all like hey mev i'm just wondering how you got introduced to god and the idea because I have never been introduced, so I haven't really thought about it, but I really haven't thought about it. But how did you? You can answer this in the daily dose, but just responding is cool. To keep keep up the good work, love the videos. By the way, I'm 16 from Alberta, Canada. Shout out to them Canadians, though. Uh, this is from my man Josh. Um, how did I get introduced? I was raised uh, in a Christian home. So that's how it was introduced to me. Um, so yeah, I don't know where you've been introduced. Maybe from my daily dose. That would be cool. But just yeah. So what is your question? But how did you? Yeah. So that's how I got introduced, man. So it's awesome that from whatever source you've been introduced. Uh, you know what I mean? So dig deeper now. Good stuff, Josh. Shout out, shout out to them Canadians, though. All right, trying to be real concise with my answers, trying not to ramble as much if I don't need to. Because sometimes you guys will answer questions like that, and it'll get me so pumped up because I love talking about Jesus and stuff, and I'll just go off on a dang sermon. So I'm just trying to answer his question. Derek. What up, Mav? My name is Derek, and I wanted to ask you who or what led you to Christianity because my parents and family led me to the Bible. I swear those are back-to-back. November 11th, Josh and then Derek. Well, Derek, because my parents and family led me to the Bible. Uh, yeah, I would say same here. That's uh, how I grew up. Josh. <laughs> he sent this on November 11th, I believe, yeah. You should talk about how the Eagles are beasting everyone they play. <laughs> As I read that the day after we lost to the Seahawks. Um, really good game, by the way, though. I was actually... I actually like what I saw, believe it or not. I mean, as a whole. Offense looked booty. Um, but playing the number one defense, there's a lot of people that look booty at times. I felt we looked a little bit bootier than we had to. Um, I think that was the first time. I think all the... I think that was Mark Sanchez's first time facing a, a, a defense in like the, the bottom half, or let's say better, the top half of the NFL. Like Mark Sanchez has looked good, but it's been against some of the lower defenses. So, you know what I mean? It's his first time in the system against the number one defense. I think it definitely showed. Uh, there was a few throws where I was like, ooh, I think Foles would have saw that or made that. But at the same time, I'm not super sold on Foles' decision making this year either I think Foles would have probably ended the game with like three picks um especially with how sloppy he's been playing this year I mean throwing off his back foot not setting his feet he you can't do that against the Seahawks so um really really not happy with what I saw on offense at all but defense I loved it I loved it defense looked great I mean there was a few breakdowns on like third down uh Russell got away from us but I mean Russell's gonna do that you know what I mean Russell's gonna get away a few times and those are most of the breakdowns they came from as a whole though you cannot look at that game and say the Eagles didn't play great defense at the end of the day Russell is an amazing athlete and amazing athletes are gonna make amazing plays throughout the game so was I frustrated with some of his plays yes but overall I think our defense did great shut Marshawn down that run defense was looking amazing we need we need we need some more consistency at cornerback and we're straight. Um, so that it was really good to see that because I was worried about the defense with D'Amico uh, coming out uh, for the, or being out for the rest of the season. And so I think the offense is very fixable, very fixable. Whether it's us getting Foles back, 
Um, hopefully here shortly. People were even speculating he could have came back for next week or even this next week. But, uh, you know what I mean? And then it's just, uh, yeah, man. Just I, I feel like the offense is something we can we can work on and improve on during the during the during the uh, the last part of the season going into the playoffs and we have a real push. But I was really excited to see the defense play well. Whether we're Super Bowl contenders, I wouldn't say that though. I ain't see enough to say we're that. But um, when we get through our division, get over Dallas, I can see us getting playoff wins for sure. Oh. Last question. I, I made my beat stop at 15 minutes because I want to try and keep this reasonably short. Because I got a lot to do today. Hey, Matt, or yo, Mav, I'm Caden. I'm 14, and I really do love your videos. I hope that we can develop as Madden friends. Hopefully, you will hit me back. But I have a couple questions, and they're spiritual, so hit me back. <laughs> Appreciate you, Caden. Um, you guys just make sure if you have questions just send them up front and on twitter too i always say this is a little pet peeve not something like bad that just like really really frustrates me but i don't like when people even my little brother they'll be like hey can i ask you a question well it's like well you just did you know what i mean if you got a question just ask it so kaden hit me back with um whatever your spiritual questions are josh says I go to church and I was wondering what do you in your what do you do in your church like youth pastor deacon etc sent from my iPad I I just I'm just a volunteer man I just volunteer for our youth ministry which is our our, our high school and college ministry and I do altar call and then I do some work like on stage so we'll do like dramas sometimes we'll do um we have like a new little format that we might be doing it's kind of like it's it's pretty unique actually um it's like a almost like a a night show so like a jimmy kimmel or a or a, a what's the other guy is it jimmy fallon i think that's his name jimmy fallon like those those late night shows to where our youth pastors like the main guy and then you know how they have like a little sidekick guy i'm that sidekick guy on stage and so it's really cool we'll have like guests and we mix in like comedy with like the teaching aspect and still bring in the uh preaching the word it's pretty cool so um that's my involvement but yeah i started off as a volunteer in the altar call room so after people raise their hand you know what i mean uh during the altar call they'll come back i'll pray with them explain to them what they actually did um and stuff like that so good question guys i want to keep going and answering more of these questions uh let me see these next two guys there's a lot of spiritual questions these next two all right so we'll save these for the next video um, again, this one's a little bit shorter. I'm about to get to my get into back trying to get trying to get back into working out. Spit it out, man. Uh, trying to get sexy for this winter, man. You know what I mean? But uh, okay, let, let, okay. Question of the day. Question of the day will be: What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Oh, speaking of, I don't think we're going to do the charity thing, y'all. I'm pretty sure we're not going to do the Christmas charity push. Um, just thinking about exactly how I wanted to do it and reaching out to some people. Um, a lot of a lot of people have made their, the, to do things how I want to do it, um, I would have had to get to some people a little bit earlier. And I just don't want it to be sloppy. I want to do it the right way my first time, at least for Christmas. But that doesn't mean we can't do another charity. So I don't know how. I'm gonna be in the I'm gonna be in the lab thinking about it. We might just do something randomly for you know what I mean the homeless. We'll do something because I don't know the next big holiday we'd want to do it on. Like you really want to do it for stuff like Thanksgiving, um, uh, uh, Christmas. But the thing is, you can bless people whenever. It doesn't have to be. On a specific holiday and, and I really do want to make a push for that so just stay tuned for more info on that now um, 
as far as Christmas, what do I want for Christmas? I will say this, I'm really bad at getting gifts. I'm a much better giver. But, uh... And this sounds so lame, I don't know. I'm almost trying to lie so it sounds better, but... I want my girls to have a good Christmas. That's the dopest thing to me. Like, you see they their faces when they get stuff? Because, especially my girls, they got big eyes, so they're like... And you can just see the, the look on their face and they love it. I, oh, man. And you might have to be a parent to understand that, though. But all your excitement that you usually have for Christmas is gone. And you just put it on to your kids because you love seeing how happy they are. So it's probably that. Um, well, no, no, no. Okay, well, yeah, that's definitely what I want most for Christmas. Um, but something else I'm trying to do is I want to upgrade my computer. That's something me and wifey talked about. So... Uh, more so for Christmas, me and wifey will like talk about like what we want. So we'll get the kids stuff, and then we'll talk about each other. Like, okay, what's one thing you want? One thing I want, and then we'll just budget the money to get it, not like a surprise. And then we'll mix in like a couple of small surprises. But for the most part, we'll just like a big gift. We'll just negotiate between each other. And um, one we're gonna try to do things are a little tight. We keep opening. We keep opening so many dang packs, <laughs> but. Uh, I want to get a better computer because I can't render and record at the same time. So if I was like rendering a video right now, um, but I want to record right now, like I want to record this video, the video would be choppy. And that sucks because my my production would go up quite a bit if I could be rendering while I'd have to record. Because some of my videos, again, I, I would want a better computer to render faster as well. It, it takes me, you know, you know, an auction block video. Uh, if I have to go back and edit it, it might take 30 40 minutes to render and it's like dang I could have knocked out so much recording. I could have recorded a couple more auction block videos I could have recorded a gameplay video. I could have recorded a few let's play videos. So that kind of jacks me up um, Mainly on the days where I got to work and get videos up the same day as if I'm ahead on my schedule I can render at night, which isn't a bad which is obviously is an issue But it's some days like today where I, I got to make videos today and they got to go up today that sucks, but because uh, I got a render and in that downtime I can't be recording so uh, that's what I want for Christmas let me know in the, in the comment section which you would like for Christmas again appreciate all your guy all your guys support uh, appreciate your guys support on the last video I'm sure my brother's gonna go through read the comments um, you guys had a lot of nice things to say so I appreciate you guys for that y'all be easy have a blessed day and until next time God first God bless